now we're in Mammoth at 2 bag 4 we will import our model, set up the materials and get a final render. So first things we need to do is import the model. To do so we go to the upper right, upper right, upper left corner, click on this little cube, import grenade low, which is spelled wrong. Oh well, it's in and it'll import the mesh along with a default material, which is fine, we can work with that. I'm gonna open up where my textures are saved. As you can see I've got those here. And we're gonna start applying the materials to this default material. Now albedo will be the base color so, uh, substance will export that as base color so we can see that here. I'm gonna simply drag this over, drop it on. Now we want to add our normal map which is under surface in lower set so we'll click normals and then we drag over our normal texture we want to flip Y we'll see in a minute once we get stuff going now we want to add roughness which is under micro surface roughness map again drag that in boom and then reflectivity is specular but we're working with metallic roughness so we click all of that you get a drop down menu metalness and we can drop in our material voila like so so that's all of our main materials in we do have a height map it's generated for us so we can drop that in here I'm not sure how much that adds to the model itself Ooh. Ooh. let's not let's not play with that beats in the edges a little Good so far. Now the next thing we'll need to do is set up what they want our render to look. So I want this to be tilted ever so slightly. Like so. And then we're gonna wanna work on the lighting. So to do that on the top left you'll see sky. We're gonna go into presets, so I want something a bit darker, so... Maybe something more earthy kind of colours. So this rocky beach might work. If we double click that, then it will load in. If we give it a moment. So now we want to add in a few lights if we click on the little HDR. Cool. I'm gonna add wanna add some backlighting in as well. This guy dropped in there. See the effects of this. Um, the main light, I'm gonna crank up brightness ever uh, so slightly.
our main camera we want to play with some of the effects on here so I'm gonna add a vintage or a vignette or vintage vignette uh, but still slightly tiny bit of blue merges soften up the edges not so much though Now a lot of this you can just play around until you're happy with something you like. And now I want to actually I have to set up settings. It pops up. Let's do it from here. So the output, I want to change that to what we've been working in. Meshes, folder. Renders, select folder, cool, now if we render image, So, open this up, we have the render of eye grenade.
Hey guys, thanks for following the tutorial. Hopefully you have a awesome looking stick grenade asset added to your library. If not, and if you want to help support the channel, you can also buy my version upon my art station store with the link down in the description. Remember to like and subscribe to catch new content and tutorials as they're released.